Good morning. Now I will start our talk. Telluric acid ameliorate hepatic ischemia reperfusion injury involvement of toll-like receptor. Phosphatidyl install 3 kinase protein kinase B signaling pathway. Ischemia reperfusion injury is inevitable after liver transplantation and liver resection that impairs the surgery outcome following restoration of oxygen supply. The pathophysiology of ischemia reperfusion is very complicated. It is characterized by direct effect as a result of ischemic insult and delayed effect due to reperfusion due to activation of innate immune system and activation of toll-like receptor. This is the pathophysiology of ischemia reperfusion injury through different pathways. I worked on two pathways through activation of toll-like receptor and rage receptor. Toll-like receptor is one of pattern recognition receptor that is associated or that is activated by damage associated molecular pattern released during ischemia reperfusion and, and play a pivotal role in activation of innate immunity system together with activation of rage receptor. High mortality group box one is one of the damaged molecular patterns that is released during ischemia reperfusion that activate toll-like receptor and rage. Activation of toll-like receptor and rage result in augmentation of neuroinflammatory signaling through activation of MAP kinase B38 and already nuclear factor Kappa B that it end with release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. On the other hand, inhibition of phosphatidyl install 3 kinase together with protein kinase B result in reduction in the antioxidant enzyme that augment and exacerbate the oxidative stress status together with inflammatory states. The pathway of toll-like receptor activation via high mortality group box 1, which is one of the damage-associated molecular pattern released during ischemia reperfusion injury that can activate toll-like receptor and rage receptor, Activation of these two receptors result in stimulation of mitogen-activated protein kinase together with nuclear factor Kappa P to produce pro-inflammatory cytokine and chemokine in addition to a state of oxidative stress due release of reactive oxygen species. On the other hand, inhibition of protein kinase P together with phosphatidyl in stool 3 kinase, the downstream of PI3K act, play a pivotal role in the regulation of cell proliferation, survival, apoptosis, and various biological responses, including oxidative stress, inflammation, and chemotaxis. Hepatic ischemia reperfusion injury suppressed the activation of PI3K act pathway that result in augmentation of inflammatory and oxidative stress status, leading to more hepatic injury. One of the compounds that is used to attenuate Hepatic ischemia reperfusion injury is tellurium compound. Tellurium compound mimic glutathione peroxidase activity and exhibit reactive oxygen species scavenger power. Also, tellurium compound possesses an anti-inflammatory action due to its ability to reduce pro-inflammatory cytokine. Moreover, telluric acid, this is a member that, of, that are used from tellurium compound am ameliorate endotoxemic kidney injury via modulation of toll-like receptor downstream signaling pathway. The methodology as used to induce ischemia is by clamping the hepatic artery and portal vein for with a microvascular grip for 30 minutes, followed by 24 hours of reperfusion, which in indicate the activation of innate immunity. The sham operated group underwent the same surgical procedure without performing ischemia reperfusion. I give the drug telluric acid for seven consecutive days before induction of ischemia reperfusion injury. And on the day of ischemia reperfusion, I perform hepatic clamping for 30 minutes, followed by reperfusion for 24 hours. Then euthanasia was done. The parameters that I used to detect the hepatic injury and the activation of PI3K act and inhibition of toll-like receptor that I propose that the drug may have activity via it is I measured alanine amylotransferase, aspartate amylotransferase, lactate dehydrogenase, high motility group box one, toll-like receptor, myeloid differentiation 88, mitogen activated protein kinase P38, nuclear factor Kappa P. P65, 
نيوكلير فاكتور تيومر نيكروزيس فاكتور الفا فوسفاتيدايل انستول 3 كاينيز بروتين كاينيز بي نيرف 2 ريديوسد جلوتاسيون اند سايبر بيتوريك اكتيف سبيشيز اند اندوسيليال نايتريك اوكسايد سينسيز ان اديشن تو هيستو باثولوجيكال اكزامينشن The whole biochemical parameter was measured via Western plot analysis, real-time PCR, ELISA technique, and calorimetric kits. The result of the study, ischemia reperfusion injury, showed marked elevation in plasma alanine amyotransferase and aspartate amyotransferase and lactate dehydrogenase as compared to sham operated group pretreatment with telluric acid Reduced plasma amino transferases in addition to lactate dehydrogenase. The other figure represents the inflammatory pathway. High motility group box was in one of the nuclear protein that serves as initial mediator in inflammation and cell injury, and play a pivotal role in activation of innate immunity. The result of the present study showed significant elevation in HMGB1 together with activation of toll-like receptor. And the downstream cascade, including myeloid differentiation 88 and protein mitogen activated protein kinase, nuclear factor kappa B, as well as tumor necrosis factor, as compared to sham operated group. In contrast, pre treatment with telluric acid verified its anti inflammatory capacity and planted these increment significantly in all parameters. The other pathway represent the inhibition of PI3K act, which is a pivotal rule in cell proliferation and apoptosis, hepatic ischemia reperfusion mediated inhibition of PI3K act axis. This inhibition of axis was significantly monitored in ischemia reperfusion group. On the other hand, this signaling pathway was activated by pretreatment with telluric acid to give Maximum upsurge in PI3K and ACT X. Hepatic ischemia reperfusion induced a state of oxidative stress as indicated by significant elevation in cyoparbituric acid reactive substance and significant reduction in reduced glutathione content together with nerve 2 and endothelial nitric oxide senses protein expression as compared to control group. Meanwhile, pretreatment with telluric acid planted the elevated of cyoparbituric acid reactive substance in addition to restoration of nerve 2 and endothelial nitric oxide senses protein expression together with reduced glutathione content. This, in, this improvement in biochemical parameter was referred in histopathological examination. Histopathological examination from section of sham operated group, which is represented in figure A, showed normal, stru normal histological structure of the central vein and hepatocytes without any modification. Meanwhile, rats subjected to ischemia reperfusion showed severe congestion in the central and border vein associated with edema and infiltration. On the other hand, red treated with telluric acid showed normal histological of the central vein and surrounding hepatocyte without major impairment in histological examination. And this data was reflected on the scoring of severity in liver tissue as presented in figure D, as we saw in ischemia reperfusion showed maximum histological score, which is down regulated or decreased in group pretreated with telluric acid. Result indicates that high motility group box one is one of the potent innate signaling that was de demonstrated to initiate and amplify the inflammatory response after ischemia reperfusion, and this is was significant in ischemia reperfusion group, which show magnificant increase in HMGB1 expression together with activation of toll-like receptor. Stimulation of toll-like receptor triggers the recruitment of myeloid differentiation 88 and adapter protein, which is which result in further activation in the downstream signaling, including nuclear factor kappa B and margin activated protein kinase, both of which induce the gene expression to produce 
pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. Treatment with telluric acid reduced the elevated high mortality group box 1 and myeloid differentiation 88 expression associated with hepatic ischemia reperfusion together with restoring immunomodulatory properties which is able to decrease the ischemia reperfusion induced elevation in nuclear factor kappa p and pro-inflammatory cytokine telluric acid opposed the ischemia induced redox imbalance which is able to reduce the elevated content of cyoparbituric acid reactive species and preserved that of reduced glutathione via its radical scavenger properties and glutathione peroxidase activity. Such effect may be correlated to upregulation of nerve 2 by pretreatment with telluric acid. Phosphatidyl installed 3 kinase protein kinase B axis is one of the survival signaling that play a pivotal role in the regulation of cell proliferation and apoptosis. Moreover, these axes ex exhibit a strong protective effect against ischemia reperfusion through inhibition of pro-inflammatory cytokine production. Also, these axes emerged as pivotal factor in negative regulation of toll-like receptor signaling as it inhibits nuclear factor kappa B activation and its downstream pro-inflammatory cytokine. Treatment with telluric acid activate these axes. This activation of PI3K act activate nerve 2, which could provide another tool for telluric acid antioxidant effect. The current data suggests a novel therapeutic potential for telluric acid against ischemia reperfusion that can be attributed to inhibition of toll-like receptor downstreaming along with activation of nerve 2 and PI3K act pathway. And this slide summarizes the conclusion of the result that telluric acid inhibits the activation of the like receptor with age, which results in decrease of pro-inflammatory cytokines, decreases the expression and activation of mitogen protein kinase B together with nuclear factor kappa B that result in reduction of pro-inflammatory cytokine production together with the reduction of oxidative stress status. Moreover, telluric acid activate protein kinase B axis and the downstream, which results in activation of nerve 2 that lead to express more antioxidant enzyme that reduce the oxidative stress states. Thanks. If any have a question, I am ready to answer.